Hello, everyone. Welcome to Steak and Eggs episode 41. This is our last normal episode of the year. We're going to be doing a Christmas special. But yeah, this is our last time <laughs> in the studio before it's uh, 2024, guys. We're going to blow it up. Yeah. On after How the about yeah, Very <laughs> exciting. The podcast is over. Yeah, so it's been a, a, a crazy week for me. Me and Techie and I. You guys did yeah. the raid, huh? How'd that yeah. go? I was pissed you went Nobody there. died. I was pissed y'all didn't die. I was so mad. Yeah, was he wasn't like, even live. Yeah. yeah. Why weren't you there? What well, happened? I, I was just doing other stuff, man. Like, okay. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. I wish like, I was doing anything else besides that. Really? Why? That shit fucking sucked. What the hell, bro? Damn, finally, now hater. you say it. Yep. Wait, why? Yes, what do you mean that it shit was, That shit was so boring. Yeah. Like, oh, it was so easy Everybody was talking for 40 minutes before every fight. Nobody was fucking paying attention. Oh, my God. Talk for 20 minutes. Listen. Someone okay. clip it and send it to Soda. Yeah. Uh, good. It yeah. already was clipped. People were pissed about it. I don't care. Literally, 40 minutes. What, what did people think was going to happen? Did anybody think we were going to die? Like I we, did. How? We were, there was like. So, the game is easy, mm -hmm. but people are dumber. But no, but literally. Do you like, know I watch people that have played this game for 15 years Fuck up, moving left. Yep. Like, yeah, I, I could easily expect somebody because, to die. You gotta understand this, okay? We are full best, full world buffed. And I was, I've been saying this for months. I said, there's no way we're gonna die on Molten Core. It is so fucking easy. You would have to try to die there. Black yeah. Wing Lair, we're going to die. Why? At Just least, don't die. No, I'm saying at least 16 people die in Black Wing Why? Lair. Why? What are they gonna die to? Well, you can't, you can't outscale it. As yeah, easily you can. as you can. What do you mean? Not it's as so easily easy. as Mountain Core. Yeah, it's about the same because all BWL is made under the same tuning, basically, for a, than MC. Like, okay. it, it's, it's really not that much harder. You want to make a bet? Uh, no, because I already <laughs> lost, the, I already lost okay. the first one. Yeah. Well, it's okay. like what I'm saying is that BWL is a bit, it is harder. It's definitely mm -hmm. harder, but it's also a joke. Like, the yeah. real difficulty is like uh, AQ40 is harder. And then yep. Nax is actually pretty yeah. hard. I agree. But I'm saying even like professional players still die in Blackwing Lair on Hardcore. Professional players die at level 20 on Hardcore. That's yeah. very true. Yeah. Yeah. People fuck up. Or I mean, also seven. I'm going to say, fuck the bad vibes. People said we couldn't. Even this guy over here I and did. we did it. That's why we were overprepared because, you know, a lot of people were new. A lot of people were idiots, including the experienced people. Some people overpulled. Some people did almost fucking die. But you know yeah. what? It was okay. You survived. I cannot fucking believe it. Like, I'm genuinely surprised. I'm actually kind of impressed. This is not what I had expected at all. I will be totally honest. Listen, I don't, I don't mean to be the proverbial dickhead here. Okay. But literally, how in the fuck were... There's, where, where was even an opportunity to die? So, I've played WoW for 15 years. Yep. And I, you guys might not really understand how dumb people really are. <laughs> no, but the people but, in our guild are pretty smart. But the thing, the thing is, like, all it takes is one person to do something wrong, and then everything falls apart. Okay, but let's let's talk about this mathematically. Okay, right. so one of the one of the bosses that we really had to focus on was Major Domo. Why? Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I thought. Stressing about it, we explained this shit for twenty two minutes. Right. And it was literally just kill skull. Kill X, yeah. kill Square. That's the whole fight. That's just sheep, the other ones, yeah. yeah. and people were freaking the hell out over what? There was, I feel like there was literally no way we could have died. We were so outgeared. We were so buffed. It was, I don't I know. I mean, that's the content is like, you know, teaching the noobs and the people that suck and hyping it up and then doing it. Like, I mean, it'd be fucking boring if like it was like, you know, everyone's just super fucking good, just does it right the first time with no explaining. That's what so. happened. It was just fucking... I, I saw a lot of comments. I think that people are mad that you guys didn't die. That's what I'm saying. We yeah. should have died. People we, are we, like, they, they feel like we got cheated. Like, for real, I, I, I am one of those people. Oh, really? Where I'm thinking we shouldn't have you been that You wanted to die. I'm, somebody should have died. But the, okay. the way it was, I'm not gonna lie, so did a very good job Ray leading. Yeah. He did a, he, I think honestly, he did too good of a job. Right. Because unless you were like brain dead. He wasn't raid leading, he was a tour guide. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like there was, there was almost, we were almost over prepared. I right. wish it was a little bit I less. I mean, he did his job. He did. No, so wow. did very good. Miz also did fucking amazing. I'm impressed. I really am. The number one moment of that entire raid. Right. What did you think it was? I didn't watch it. Oh, you're not allowed. <laughs> no, well, I mean, I was, well, I would have watched it a little bit. I watched yeah. the Nixia one. The Nixia went really well. I was like, damn, that's good. Like, everything was fine. The number one, Nixia was fun. Yeah. The number one moment of that whole night for me was 
Ravdying. Tricking everybody that Ravdi. Oh, yeah. That shit was I, so that. I was so fucking upset. Yeah. And I was even thinking yeah. in my brain, like, how is that even possible? Like, how, how, how did he do it? Yeah. Well, not like how did he, like, fake it, but like, how could right. he possibly have fucking died? But I, I forgot. Because someone did before on my stream when I was mm. in a call with Vey yeah. that, that soda died. And we uh -huh. were both like, what? Is that yeah. real? <laughs> but then we figured out it was fake, but they got, I got. I got God again. I don't know how that. people did the fake announcements. I have no idea. Is something with the death log add on? Really? Oh, it was, yeah. it was just, I thought it was just a raid warning. Was it just a raid uh, warning? No, it's a separate thing. Oh, the other one where they go into the system and they make oh, the yeah, thing no, pop I think up. Oh, yeah. I think the one with Rav was just a raid warning. But yeah. Yeah, there's yeah, something yeah. else they can do mm. with the add on to fake it, even if they're not in your raid. Mm. Number one of the casual DPS, by the way. Just wanted to put that out there. Number one of what? Yeah, number one out of all. We had the 10 sweats and then we had 30 casual players. Uh, I was what number one DPS. What determines a casual player? Because I don't, I don't think you're a casual player from the world. Oh, well, talk. so there's like the people who play WoW. They're like all the time, like, you know, yeah, Shinya sure. and Sony. And then yeah. I was considered, you know, just a dude. Number one warrior, yeah, by but, the way. Yeah, but you know? you're, you're like experienced and stuff. Not saying like, no, not, like not like downplaying it. You know, I'm just saying. Uh, you well, know, people uh, were saying that I suck, but that's I mean, crazy. Isn't there two buttons? Yeah, well, the Warriors couldn't press those two buttons as good as I did. Well, because they didn't have the gear. I had less gear. No, it was no way. You had Titanic leggings. You had so did on. they. No, not every single one of them. I don't yep. know about that. I'd pull have to see up. it for myself. Right? Yeah, maybe I'll have to now. You have to pull it up. I'm just saying yeah. I pressed my two buttons pretty good. Okay. And it's actually three buttons. Right, yeah, you so got a whirlwind. You, right. you start in, you charge or intercept, depending on the fight, and then you put a Sunder armor down immediately, which I did. Then you bloodthirst, and then you whirlwind, and then you... Heroic strike when you're about to overcap and then you blood thirst and then you roll one. It's very hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's very difficult. Yeah. Well, no, I'm I'm actually amazed that like so. Did you have any close calls in the raid? Yep. How close I was on did I was on Ragnaros and I got RNG targeted by the knockout. Uh huh. And uh, I just petrated it. Okay. That was it. But if I didn't, oh, yeah, petri, that happened to a couple people. Rav yeah. also petrated to midair and Soda had to as well. Yeah. If oh, I didn't wow. petrate, I would have been some, dead. I think some other people too, but I don't know if they were alive. But I I literally had a whole monologue. I got knocked up and I was like. Okay, do I want to burn 400 gold on not dying? Uh, well, yes. Let's think about it. Am I really going <laughs> to die from this height? Uh, do I really want to go to the next raid? Uh, okay, Petri, yeah. bop, right at the last second. It was sick. Uh, the thing that really pissed me off about that raid was when people say parsing doesn't matter. That made me so angry. What made you mad about that? Because that's the only thing that matters. Really? It's the only thing that matters. Okay, if I'm these, these fucking ungrateful little fucks who say, oh, top DPS doesn't matter as long as the boss dies, that's all that matters. Okay, no shit. As long as we beat it, that's all that matters. But if I'm pumping big dick damage the entire time, these little ungrateful fuckers, these, these people riding my coattails in DPS rankings, they don't understand yeah. if we're killing the boss faster, that means there's less time that it can be fucked up. Like my DPS can shave like 20 seconds off Shinya's DPS shaves off like 25. So Sony was insane. Sony was fucking unbelievable. His DPS was insane. Yeah. Like, I don't know what he's doing at all. Because I feel like our gear, I'm not even kidding you. Me and Sony's gear was pretty much the same. He was doing like 20% more DPS than me. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how he's pressing his buttons that much better, but that guy is unbelievable. Sony, Shinya, and Z Zico. Yeah. I, they're so fucking good. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So... All I'm saying is, if we kill the boss faster, then less dangerous mechanics go out. And I don't think people get that. Like, if you make a three-minute fight last a minute and 10 seconds, that's a pretty big deal. So I don't get how people say DPS doesn't matter. It's, it's all that matters. If the boss is tanked and people are being healed, the quicker you kill it from the DPS, the safer everyone is. And now, a word from our sponsors. What's up, fam? It's me, Emmy, just chillin'. I'm just poppin' in to tell you how hip Cash App is. Jay, hit it. With Cash App, you can utilize the best tools around for spending, sending, and saving money. Don't let your finances be organized and stressful. Keep it simple, and more importantly, keep it cool. With Cash App, you can really get- Like I was saying, Cash App has all sorts of hip features, like Face ID, Card Lock, and real-time transaction alerts. You don't have to worry about it. Whatever. That 
box sucks. It's so small. Do I have another one? Cash App is the number one finance app on the U.S. App Store. Join millions of other users and download it today to keep your money management stress-free. Thanks, Cash App, for sponsoring our podcast. The best offense, the best defense is a good offense. Exactly. If you kill it, this is the way I looked at other ARPGs, is that every solution can be solved with more damage. Absolutely. That's right. You're, you're absolutely right. But whenever you pull aggro and then... You know, he runs around and kills everybody. That's kind of a problem. You know what's crazy? I don't think anybody pulled aggro the whole night. Yeah. Soda was terrified. tanking. Yeah, Soda was tanking so good. Yeah. Miz was killing it. Like, he was so goddamn good. Right. Like, I don't think, I mean, I mean, off the top of your head, like, who was bad? I feel like everybody was incredible. Um, well, Emmy almost died. Oh, C-Dang was a fucking idiot. Why was C-Dang so stupid? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Also, well, I didn't almost die, but on Sardako's POV, it looked like, okay, so you know how I had the mm. job to shield the living bomb on a uh, Baron? Yeah. Okay, so you, you know how, like, the person who had the bomb was supposed to run left to that, like, little Recording? pocket? Yep. Okay, so Grayson was the last person to get the bomb, right? And so he was, like, kind of out of my range, so I, like, move a little bit to shield him, and then I'm running back, and Grayson, for some reason, runs into the cave. So on Sardako's POV, it looks like we're running together into the cave. Oh, no. But on my POV, we actually weren't that close at all. But yeah, yeah I, I just thought that was funny. It was just crazy because like, I, I okay, I am being a little bit of a bitch. We, I should be proud because we all did such a good job. Yeah. I just, I just really wish somebody fucking yeah, died, man. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I consider myself a casual, especially since like I kind of just like started playing for real, like yeah. when this started. Like I had played before, but I don't think I ever got past like level 20. So like this conversation, I'm just like, damn, these people are jaded as fuck. Like they just hate this game, but they keep playing it. Yeah, yeah you're right. No, it, it's it's definitely one of those games that if you hate yourself, you'll keep playing it. Yep. It's one of those situations. <sighs> See, that's like, the thing. Wait. I used to play every single day, but for the past two weeks before Raid happened, I didn't touch the game at all. Right. Because I just couldn't, man. That game, God, it sucks the fucking soul out of you. It, even thinking about it makes me so goddamn Really? Better. It just stresses you out? Oh, yes. Because then it's like, oh, God, I went in there and I forgot. It's vanilla wow, which means I don't get any loot. <laughs> yep. I'm having a good fucking time personally. What you know what I did yesterday? I watched some video that was like uh, all of the Warcraft lore up till now. Ooh. And I, I watched all the shit about like the Titans and like Sylvanas. And I was like, well, shit, now I want to play the other expansions too. But I don't know if I'd have to play it alone. So I don't know if I will. Because oh. like playing that yeah. shit alone is like... I, I don't nah, know how people do it. in general. Well, no, that's, that's the Wait, thing, Wait, is it though. bad? The video made Ooh, it seem yeah. kind of good. Ooh, Wait, why is, yeah. why, why is it really bad? It's really stupid. See, well, um, okay, so what part of it isn't stupid? Uh, yep. Okay, so when I was watching it, I kind of got the thing where like, you know, when there's like some fantasy lore and you're like, I really don't care about all of these like old war facts. Uh -huh. So there was a lot of that. But like the Sylvanas and Hell thing and like the World Tree burning thing, I thought were kind of interesting. Well, so you like, like Sylvanas? Well, I I watched a video that was like a twenty minute summary of like twenty years of lore. So may, I mean, maybe like okay. it just seemed kind of cool in the video. But I think <laughs> Sylvanas was really cool until probably what Battle for Azeroth. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Why? Well, oh. then she burned down the tree, which was like totally- Wait, kind that of, was her? Yeah, she yeah. burned the whole fucking tree down. And like, so basically this is what happened is so whenever she killed herself at the top of Ice Crown, Oh yeah, I, I did see her do the suicide that. dive onto the spike. Yeah. And I was like, why you gotta do that? Well, because like, <laughs> she fucking hate, well, it's because- like, She didn't so, want to be immortal? Well, no, it's because, so Arthas, uh, who was the Lich King, yeah. uh, actually attacked her city, Queldonis, and she was the ranger general of the city, and then he fucking killed her, and then turned her into a banshee to like serve him. Wait, she him. was a banshee? She was. Okay, yeah, see, this is why I'm asking, because the video was so condensed, it was kind of yeah. confusing. Like, <laughs> to explain how confused I was, because it was so quick, after that, I talked to Miz, and I was like, Arthas was Anduin's dad, and he was like, what the fuck no. are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how confused I was because it was look so the condensed. Same, right? I mean, like I thought, I thought they do variants. Anyone said, yeah, no? van yeah, variant, yeah, absolutely. And so, yeah, Sylvanas <laughs> used to be really, really cool, but then she met a guy who was basically like Satan. But then you okay. find out that he's actually not like Satan. He's a robot that uh, replaced another robot to make sure that all the souls go to the right soul places. 
but then he was making them not go to the right place. And then so they got rid of him and then they put another robot in and they said, he's not a robot anymore. He's the bad guy. And then Wait, after is, that, he said to Sylvanas- Wait, is this accurate? Or do, are you confused? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I think he's spitting. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, this is unfortunately yeah. all accurate. Okay. <laughs> and then after Sylvanas kills herself in wrath, then she meets him and she's like, what's up? He's like, hi, it's me, I'm death. And so then she kills everybody in order to feed him. And then finally, after everybody goes to his house, which is the Shadowlands, he says, I don't like you anymore. And then he ignores her and he tries to take over a like a really big microwave and he wanted to microwave the planet. But then we stopped him and he didn't and he died. But then right before he died, he said that he was actually trying to help us, but we don't know what he was trying to do and it was never explained. Yeah, Sylvanas is the reason why I gave up on WoW. One. So she sucks. Sylvanas oh, was man. probably one of the best characters. Yep. And then they made her one dimensional. And it was unfortunate. It, it, oh, 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 and, and then, who, who's the guy that's like in the portal? He's really pissed and he's like got the long black hair and the wings. Illidan. Illidan. Yeah. Illidan. The coolest way. Yes. What? What's wrong with him? You don't no, like him? No, I thought Illidan's he was cool, but like oh. the video I watched he is like, so basically he was pissed because everyone abandoned him. Well, and so he was like emo in the portal. Yep. <laughs> well, he, this is what happened, right? Is that he, so like he, he had a brother named Malfurion and they both liked the same girl. Oh, but no. But the problem is that she liked Malfurion more than him. Oh, and no. so Illidan was like, well, you know, I guess I have to become a demon to let her know that like I'm for real. And so he becomes <laughs> a demon and he saves his homeland and he actually is like the, the complete hero of the story. Mm -hmm. But because he did it through having demons help him, uh, his own brother and this girl are like, yeah, we don't want you around anymore. And so then he's like, I think he's in jail or some shit for like 10,000 years. So he got cucked for 10,000 years. He comes out. That's the Burning Crusade expansion. Well, we have to put him back inside of a popsicle. And then he's in the popsicle for like maybe 10 more years <laughs> until they try to turn him into an avatar of, of the, like, uh, you know, the Titans? Yeah. The big guy with the horns, Sargeras, the avatar okay. for Sargeras. And then so we break him out of the popsicle and then there was a, a, an orc, but you see this orc actually isn't the real orc. There's two versions of the same orc. And then in the original storyline, Illidan uh, consumes the orc's skull for powers. His name's okay. Goldan. And then uh, there's a, we go back in time and then the orc, uh, we, we have like a second version of the same guy. Again? And again, yeah, it's the same guy. And he's up to his tricks again and he starts trouble again. So then Illidan fucking grabs him by his head. And then, I, wait, I thought he ate his skull. Is this a different he guy? Did, he, it, no, he did. He did. That's the thing. But then he goes back and he kills him again. In time, he kills this. This is this is Goldan two wait, from the is, alternate wait, so, right, Goldan wait, so too. he's time traveling. Well, the Goldan time travels. Well, he uh -oh. doesn't time travel. Well, okay, so basically, you have to understand <laughs> yeah. that Garrosh. Wait, is this okay, the good lore or the bad lore? This, both. Well, and so, cool. Cool, cool, though. Okay. And so yeah. then, so there's this other orc. And Thrall found him because Thrall's dad was Is friends Thrall with this Green orc Jesus. Stuff. Green Jesus, okay. that's right. And so then, so, wait, so that's the guy that's trying to lead the orcs to do the good things, right? That, but then the other brown guy, uh, Garrosh, was like all oh. these brown good orc, things. Brown orc, brown orc, all okay. these, yeah, yeah, the brown no, orcs. Yeah, I remember uh, that guy. He had the the long hair and the Hearthstone card. Right, Igrom. That, but <laughs> yep, then his son, right. his son Garrosh, was was the, the coolest character. <laughs> he was. What's so funny about that? <laughs> no, it's just funny. Just, I'm just sorry. Oh, go on. Okay. You know what's sick? A World of Warcraft tier list, True. where it's like Garrosh. Yeah, well, Garrosh, the Arthas, no, Illidan, I want to hear how the story okay. is. Okay, let me explain. So basically, no, he's then, like he's like it's like a bard. Yeah, I don't. Sorry, go on. Bard, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so so basically, then Illidan. No, no, no. Fuck. Oh, Garrosh, Garrosh. That's right. So Garrosh gets brought back from Outland mm -hmm. because Garrosh was at the time. Uh, he was in high school and he was going through his emo phase, and so he would sit outside the main tribal hut and talk about how he was a loser all the time. Okay. But then Thrall came over and he's like, you're not a loser. And Garrosh is like, okay. 
So then oh, Garrosh nice. decides he's not going to be a loser. Dude, I feel like a thousand years ago, you could have like wrote the King James Bible, but like better, like less confusing. Mean? Oh, like the storytelling. Well, I mean, this is basically the yeah. same thing, but for no, nerds. This, this is the Bible, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy Garrosh eventually gets put in charge of the horde because Thrall decided to be a dad, and so and then he just basically pussied out, and he like basically Thrall lost all of his hair and he turned into a bitch. Oh, after but he had to he did that because like there was this big thing that happened where he had to use a magic pancake to kill the most powerful dragon you, in existence. What do you mean a pancake? It's called the dragon soul. But why is it a pancake? Because it looks like a literal fucking pancake. Yep. But what is it? It's a soul? Well, it's, a, it's like a soul power, it's like an empowering device, right? And it was used, the dragons needed Thrall to use it because the dragons couldn't use it okay. to kill the other dragon. Why couldn't they use it? Because they're dragons. Yeah. So? And so well, that's just how it is. Okay. And well, so... You, does it make sense? Yeah, that's, that's, just, that. that's just the no, way it is. I'm just asking questions. So... <laughs> So then Garrosh, <laughs> Garrosh goes back. Wait, is this where the bad lore starts? Uh, well, it, 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 there's a lot of, it, okay, if you think about it for long enough, almost all of it's bad. So but, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Well, I, let, me, let me just finish how the yeah. time travel happens. So okay. Garrosh is put in charge and then Thrall goes away because he's bald now. And then finally, <laughs> Garrosh eventually just decides, you know what? The horde is full of pussies and simps and we're going to kick out all of the losers. <laughs> and so he kicked out the blood elves. He kicked out Wait, the undead. Wait, what's wrong with the blood elves? Because look at him. And so, yep. uh, so that's just how it is. Dude, and he's it like, is kind of lame that they're like, we're blood elves because a bunch of people died. Yeah, yeah. They're, no, the they're basically blood, crack addicts. No, blood elves were put into the game. That way females would have something to play on the horde oh, side. Dude, yeah. that's how yeah. I felt. I was like, why would I want to be a horde, man? The yeah. best is like the undead, yeah. but why do they have tits when everything else is rotted? It makes no sense. It's, yeah. <laughs> No, it's literally it's, 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 Blizzard does that. They they know it's the same thing they did with Sylvanas. No, that was smart because all the guys who were on Horde, their girlfriend probably was like, "I'm not playing this shit. I don't want to be a fucking yep. cow." Yeah. 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 No, absolutely. They literally put in Blood Elves. That would be yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty girl class. It's the same thing they did with Sylvanas. In my, in my opinion, Sylvanas. Yeah, no, is, game companies are good when they, you know that the, they said the same thing about you, me, and League. They were like, we, we made this character so that people can play with their friends who don't know how to play. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Do you know who Yumi is? No, I so don't. So it's a character where you don't have to do any movement. You just attach yourself to another character and then you just follow him around as a floating cat. And every that's, now and then you- That's it. There's people yep. who, okay, yeah. So Does like- Does it you, do anything? Uh, it you, makes yeah, the one character you, statue much stronger. You, okay, it and so beam it. You, there's four buttons per character in League, right? right? Usually there's some exceptions. So one of your buttons is to attach to someone else. So they move around, you don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Your Q is like, you can move around this little squiggly thing that does Ooh. like a hundred damage. Yeah. And then your E is an instant cast heal and that's it. Mm -hmm. And then your, your ult- is this like wave of things, but the person that you're attached to controls like where it comes from. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, so you just basically, you're along yeah, for the ride. You yep. know, a lot of people like uh, that play characters that are good with Yumi, yeah. they'll have like a laptop and play with their feet. I'm not even kidding. Oh my God. Yeah. Wait, so they're playing two characters at the same time? Yeah. Well, because Yumi counts as like 0.1% of an actual character. You do fuck it. It's so hard to fuck it up. Holy shit. And for a while, she, she was like an S tier character too. Yeah. It's like, you don't even have to do anything. So you just sit there and like somebody else just doesn't really even play the game. Yeah. They just like, you know, phone it in for like the next 40 minutes. Or yeah. That's pretty good. Are you aware of the games Warcraft 1, Warcraft 2, and Warcraft 3? Yeah. Yeah, so those three had very good lore, except for the... What was it? There was like, there's one part of the Warcraft 3 lore people didn't like. It was like Arthas and like, like bombing a town. Do you know what oh, I'm talking about? Well, that's whenever he killed everybody, but he was right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but people people didn't like that. He was. Wait, is, so, yeah. yeah, in the video I watched, there was a lot of like Warcraft gameplay. So is that where the main story kind of happens? Or is yeah. that like filler? Yes. For, yeah, oh, that's okay. like, that's yeah. kind of like all the, the build up and like the foundation for what World of Warcraft is. Which is why Vanilla, Burning Crusade, and Wrath of Lich King is what I consider the best that's, part of that's WoW. That's the game. Everything else is just other stuff. Yeah. Sylvanas, yeah. in my opinion, was a PR move. Because World of Warcraft didn't really have that many strong, independent female characters. Mm -hmm. So they said, okay, well, now we have this one and she's the best. And she's going to go up to all the men and kill them all. And then they ruined her. Yep, they ruined her. Because yeah. they made her so too broken. Sad. But it's like, oh, yeah, Lich King? Yeah, check this out. She's so strong. She kills them in one They hit. got too greedy. They were like, we have the female representation and also she's hot. And then they flew too close to the sun. They did? <laughs> yeah, they did. It was because it felt so forced. It was the least authentic part of that game. And I was just like, okay. So we're gonna do this well, shit now. What about uh the the girl looks like Lux? What's her name? Uh, J Jaina. Jaina, yeah. Jaina. 
Yeah, what what happened with her? Wasn't she a main character too? She she was, but she was like like she was like. So, for example, how do I explain this? Jaina was Arthas's boyfriend or girlfriend. <laughs> boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That was basically Arthas's girlfriend, and she was a really powerful, strong mage. Mm -hmm. yep. And basically, everything that she does, you have to understand, like, Jaina is the reason why we had, like, three separate expansions. Like, she, like her just fucking something up. Oh, Basically, I didn't know this. So, like, Kale Thos, you know, yeah. like, the Sunstrider, the mm -hmm. guy that, like, is Sunwell and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason why, one of the reasons why he kind of popped off is because she wanted to go with Arthas and date Arthas instead of him. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, because he's like, well, wait, I, I... Wait, so I thought she, wait, she, so she was dating Anduin and then... No, no, Anduin, and, no, they're like, that's that's like... Oh, it's her and Arthas. Generations. I keep yeah, mixing up Arthas. the A names. Anduin's the yeah. pussy. Arthas is the cool Arthas guy. Arthas is the bitch. Yeah, yeah, Anduin's the bitch. Arthas is the, the, the true king of Orderon. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that his, you know, his friends so and family So him and Jaina betrayed. were like dating. Yeah. Okay. And like, you know, then, like obviously, because then she didn't help Arthas purge Strathlom. Because like, that's like, and that's where you die. Is that how you say mm -hmm. it? No. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. I don't really Yeah, care. I did die there at level 58. It was very depressing. I always call it Stratholm. Yeah. I don't know how other people call it Stratholm. Yeah, I just fucking say Strat usually. Oh, okay, I, yeah. Yeah, fuck it. And so, yeah, that's what happened. So, Jaina, Jaina then, uh, there was a story where then her and her mom had drama and then oh, they no. figured it out. And then that was pretty much the end of her story. Okay. Yeah, that was literally it. And also in Warcraft 3, her boobs were way bigger, but then they nerfed them. And they did this progressively throughout the story. They I hate that, that shit. a bunch of lead characters, too. Yeah, really? it's really fucking annoying. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah and, yeah, and so that happened. And yeah, what are the other characters? What, in League? Yeah, No, I mean, like, in WoW. Do you understand it now? Does it make more sense? No. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't I mean, make sense to the people that wrote it either. Yep. Oh. There's no continuity. Yeah, hence, case in point, the, uh, what is it, the SoCal Killer. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was a that good was video. That was a good one. Yeah, I, I, I knew from the start, like, that I kind of had, like, an, an idea of what was going on, but I still liked the video. It yep. was good. Yeah, I remember I watched that one, and I was like, man, that was one of the best videos. I was so happy about that one, because, like, that was right whenever the story was, like, absolute dog shit during Shadowlands, and it was like, yeah, see, that's what I fucking thought. Exactly. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. I definitely would have heard about this if uh, this were true. But, oh, yeah, especially I mean, if it was somebody I, I still, worked at Blizzard. I humored it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the other really thing that really pissed me off about World of Warcraft was early on, you felt like you were doing your part. You know, like there was this world, there was all this chaos, and you were doing your best to like help fix it. But then the more and more you went into the game, it's like, first of all, you had to earn the NPC's respect, mm -hmm. but then it became every NPC was like sucking your dick. For like everything. It was like, oh, you're the best, our hero, all this shit. And it's just, I don't know, man. It, it felt nicer having to prove myself rather than like, uh, there was like, what's the, what's the big sword into the earth? Uh, big ass sword. Well, Gorshalak. Uh, yeah. That the name. There was this dwarf and in front of Gorshalak. And the way that he talked to me felt like I was better than Arthas. Felt like I was better than Anduin. And I'm just like, this makes no fucking sense. I'm literally just a dude in this world. Why is this guy literally jerking me off or killing 24 scorpions? I feel like a lot of the, maybe I'm wrong, but like the vibe I get from a lot of the long-term WoW players is like, they like that because they're they've like spent you know twenty years of their life and they're like I'm the best fuck the new players. <laughs> <laughs> I mean they can like that. That's I'm the way fan. they feel about it. Yeah, but usually they yeah. like telling each other that, not even the game telling them that. Like mm -hmm. WoW players, like I remember seeing like whenever you guys cleared Molten Core, there were a lot of people that were trying to like downplay it. They're like, oh yeah, well you know because the gear that they was able to get at ZG and oh is it really a challenge anyway? You know. And it's like, you know these guys are just coping because they died at level 20, right? That's fair, That's just but how it is. I, I, I do feel like it was insanely like, easy. Like, I don't think that you understand how stupid classic WoW players are. Like, you really don't understand. Like, if you... Like, yeah, if well, I... I think it's just overconfidence, right? Like, overconfidence is a killer. And I think that's, like, why our guild did so well because we were very not confident yeah. in ourselves. But we did, we so. did kill Onyx and what? If you, if you join a classic WoW guild and you ask them, is the moon landing real? Most of them would probably say no. That's true. Britt. 
I, I'm I'm more shocked that people thought that we would fail rather than yeah. I'm just not shocked because I know how everybody how good everybody was in that. They raid. probably just didn't know how much we prepared, and then we're like comparing us to other guilds who like barely scraped yeah. through it. But I'm saying they're like like I mean we killed on Nexia in like a minute and ten seconds. Yeah, it was pretty fast. Like we shit on that boss. Yeah, <laughs> thirty like, minutes pre preparation speech for a two minute fight. <laughs> wow, <laughs> my damage was insane, bro. It felt so good. I like, was fucking terrified the whole time really? though because I mean that was my first raid, so I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't. I know guess what to that's, I guess that's what I'm forgetting because for me, oh, yeah. like, I've you didn't seen do all this. ZG or AQ AQ twenty, did you? I did. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I did want to, but it was a, a Sardaka group, so it was like a bunch of really good players. Well, he died. That's true. He did die yeah. doing ZG. What? Yeah, he died. He lost his uh, his warrior. He lost his warrior on Osiris. Like literally, like yesterday, because he uh, had aggro uh, because of some other uh, tank mechanic on the boss fight. Yeah, he he died yesterday. Yep, that's like one of our best players. It he's, was. He's re it was on AQ forty or he's AQ dead now. He has a he has a hunter that's level sixty backup, and he's leveling another one. Jesus! Oh fuck! Mm -hmm. Oh, that really sucks. Yeah. And wait, wait, the, the AQ, wait, AQ20 or AQ40? AQ20, it was on oh, the Oh, was it? I thought it was ZG. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? No, the ZG was C dank. Oh, yeah, no, he, yeah. he died to the big Anubis dude, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn, I did not know that. Yeah. That's it, because he's really good. Like, mm -hmm. stupid good. Damn. He dead. Yeah. Uh... Anyways. AQ20 did scare me a lot when I did it. I only ran it once. Really? Bla yeah. Blackwing layer and it's over. You think it's done at yep. Blackwing Lair? It's done. It's over. We're not clearing it. People wow. are going to die. There's just no way. I'm going to be honest. I think something could happen on a reclear of MC or something could happen on like... Yeah, no, so, no, yes. so yeah. I was saying he wanted to, yep. to run it again. Yep. Yeah. We, I'm telling you guys, like some yeah, because, stupid yeah, shit Yeah, because we, we were... Soda wanted it to like go so well. He was so safe, but I bet like on like another run, they're going to be rushing and Because people are going to be lazy. They're not going to be paying attention. Somebody yeah. is like, oh, I'm going to go get a drink. Yeah. I'm going to check my phone. we brought too many healers on purpose. Yeah. And that probably won't be the case for all of them. Like a lot of the time, I didn't even have anything to heal. And like exactly. there, there was someone yeah. with like plus 100 healing over me that was like renewing everyone. And I was like, well, I literally can't do anything. I'm just standing here just, yeah. just yeah. dispelling. <laughs> and I mean, that, that's fine. But Dispels it's like, you know. Dispels are really valuable. You need to dispel. Yeah. I was spamming. Dis I had a dispel job on like a, bu a bunch of things. That's so good. I, that's I literally perfect. wasn't yeah. healing at all. I'm trying to think of bosses that are really scary in Molten Core. I've always say Baron Geddon is one because Gar, having because to pull. Which one? The pull for Gar is where people die all the time. Gar's which one? Uh, the one with all the little ads. That's that's the, oh, the, the rock big guy. rock, rock with the rocks. Yeah, yeah. Rock guy. yeah, yeah, yeah I can believe that. Uh, yeah, I would say Baron Geddon and yeah, sure, Gar. Uh, Ragnaros. Yeah, Ragnaros is actually pretty scary because if people don't pet you the fall. I'm not sure if that's <laughs> no. a kill. I don't want to find out it's if that's not. a kill. Is, is it close? It could be. Okay. Because it seems like I mean, yeah. you, I mean, you if, go above you, Rag's head. Yeah. Like, that's a big dude. It yeah. really looks like it's going to kill you. Did you see the clip of Rav getting knocked up and then he petried in midair and did Alt-Z and just was like looking around doing uh. nothing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so I did cool. not see that. He was just petried midair and he, I can't he, believe he just that guy, and just watched. I can't believe that guy re-leveled. That was nuts. Like, I think it was like 36 to 38 hours back to 60. Mess. Yeah, I, yeah. I was told. I thought I was told it was thirty four a day and uh, a day and ten hours. Oh my god, that is yeah, insane! Yeah, it was nonstop. You know the craziest part? He he's not a full time content creator. He has a a, a job as well. Really? So like a little bit, like midway through his ZG boost, he was like, "I gotta go to my job," and then he came back and finished it. What the? That's fuck? awesome. Yeah. I couldn't imagine having a job. My problem is my <laughs> no. my biggest awesome. issue with World of Warcraft is knowing that the people who I meet in WoW, who I love so much are most likely going to stay in WoW. What do you mean? For a lot of times, that's like... They're not going to play any other game? Yep. When they only play WoW, it's so sad. You know, like, I'll, like, like for example, like, there's this guy I met in WoW. His name's Shinya. I love this guy so much. If he, if he, I'll be real. If I didn't meet Shinya, I yeah. would have quit. Classic WoW, 1 million percent. Okay. But like, meeting people that good, holy fuck, he's so funny. He's so good at the game. He mentored me. He taught me how to play the game. He helped me get gear and all that shit. Yeah. And when I stopped playing WoW for like nine days, fucking didn't hear from him. Mm -hmm. And I was so sad. And then I went back and he's like, yo, you know I play other games, right? Like, we can play games outside of WoW. And I'm like, oh, fuck, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> so we played Ready or Not in the league the other day. But uh, there are some people who only play WoW. And that's it. It's their only fucking game. Like, WoW viewers 
will only watch WoW. If you go to any Whenever other game, Whenever I they started won't. playing other games, they were really angry at me. They were like, you've betrayed us. Yep. You've moved on. Like now it's like, how much is Square Enix paying you to play Final Fantasy? <laughs> yep. You're, you're that, trying yeah. to kill WoW. WoW made you and now you're fucking, you don't even understand what you're doing. Yep. Oh yeah, they were fucking furious. Oh, it was the I same thing that when I, uh, when I stopped playing uh, Genshin Impact, it was the same thing with Tyler 1 stopped playing League of Legends. Oh yeah. People, they, there are some people Those who are just are like- Those are one game Andy games. Yep, just play that fucking game, you play nothing else. That's right. Dance, just, monkey, dance. Yeah, I got that a little bit. Yeah. And I quit League too, but I mean, I'm nowhere near as bad as what you guys Well, know, like, uh, what, what are you going to do now that, like, uh, WoW's over? I don't even know, honestly. Like, I have a list of games that I, I want to play, but I I really don't fucking know. I'm really happy that it's over. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this is the time where we just get our cloaks. I can't get better gear. I will log on to do Molten Core. There's nothing better I can get. Maybe I buy an Ebon Hand. Uh, maybe I use that. Maybe, maybe I go get Hand of Justice on BRD. But other than that, I'm good, fully geared, best in chance. I'm chilling. Um, but I think this these are the periods I like. I like when there's nothing to do. I like just going live and trying to figure it the fuck out. Yeah. There, there's so many games that you can play. It's unbelievable. Like, yeah, unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's kind of nice because like I, I did like the WoW grind, but also being like I could do variety now. Exactly. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Because yeah. like WoW- I'm Just from, chatting content too. WoW for me, it was, I, I turn it on, I become a zombie, I stream for 13 hours. But I, I can't do that anymore, man. And I'm so glad that I don't have to keep up with that. God. Yeah, I, I had a, such a, a love-hate relationship with like doing the like 10 to 12 hour streams every time I went yeah. live for yeah, a while. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I'll kind of miss it, but it's also nice not being like, I have to do this or I won't catch up. I, I think it was perfect. You yeah. know, like I am still, I can't believe you leveled up five fucking times, 10 times, what was it, 50 times? <laughs> it was five. Yeah. yeah. And Molten Core, we beat it all. Nobody died. That's very, that's a very good storybook ending. No, it's not over. We're going to go until it's over. Oh, it will end in a tragedy. No, <laughs> yeah, we're, we when. do all die in Blackwing Lair. 100%. That's, yeah. that's where the guild ends. I'm probably going to level an ult. Probably not on stream, but I, I probably will have a second character. Just because like, even if I'm not streaming it, I want to be able to play with Soda and everyone. Let so. make sure. You're going to level a second character? What do you mean? <laughs> you're, why you say it like that? Yes. <laughs> what, you mean like someone playing on my account? I would I be never. too scared to do that because I feel like Blizzard's watching all of us. Hey, I wouldn't be too scared. Oh, fan. yeah. Nowadays, you're right. <laughs> yeah, we had yeah. some people lose yeah. their stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'll just say, bro, if I have a second character, I was not the one who leveled it. Okay, yeah. there's, there's, no, there's, <laughs> there's no fucking way I'm doing that again. That yeah. was miserable. Like, Leveling alone, holy shit. Okay, well, shit. when I say level, I don't mean I'm going to be doing like 12-hour sessions again. I mean like oh, yeah. I'm going to be like having a chill evening and do like a little four hours or something, yeah. you know? You yeah. know what I mean? Like I that. not that. Yeah, there's just also so much going on in the world every day. I feel like the sky's the limit for content right now. There's so many great games coming out. What are you going to play? Oh God, everything, man. The, the new God of War was announced. The new Monster Hunter was announced. That's in 2025, but yeah, regardless. Yeah, it's going to be up for a while. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to replay Monster Hunter uh, Rise again. It is... That's uh, fun. It's it's insane to me how people haven't played that yet. Yeah, like, I haven't played it. Because when you guys play it, you mm -hmm. are going to say, this is one of my favorite franchises. Really? Holy it, it is. Fuck. It is the best. It I said is. I was going to play Dragon's Dogma, but I haven't done that. Fantastic. I've been playing, uh, been malting and playing Hollow Cure and playing that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought, well, you're playing the new Hollow Cure. You're playing Death is Dying? or Yeah, I'm doing that one too. That yeah. game looks sick. Yeah, it's awesome. Is it better than Hollow Cure? Uh, it's it's. I don't know yet. I mean, like I'm getting fucked in both games, so you know, whichever <laughs> one I beat first will be the better game. Yeah, I've, I've already cracked Hollow Cure. Really? How's you just, that? So you just go to the Animal Crossing world, yeah. and then you fish for three hours, and then you unlock everything. Dude, we were literally talking about that when yeah. you were filming your ad. We we're both yeah. like, I hate Emmy fishing in Hollow that Cure. To it's me so in your boring. Voice. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Oh, I liked it. Yeah, because yeah. You, you remember you told me like, I mean, just fish for three hours, you unlock every character. Yeah. I went home and yeah. I did it for twenty minutes, and I was like, I'm so bored, man. I went back to playing the game. I yeah. I died at like twenty minutes. I fucking slammed my fist on the desk because <laughs> I I wasn't even using my coins to do the gacha for the characters. I was just pumping it all into the yeah. uh, the yeah. upgrades. upgrades. Yeah, for like attack and shit. I, I unlocked like nine percent of the game. Unlocked every single character. It's so good. It is really yeah. good. But I, I'm complete. It's done. You like, beat it. Yeah, I mean, I'll wait for the updates because Hellcure is such a good game. But to, I love that genre. I hope it comes big. Like, it's Vampire Survivors, Hollow Cure, Death is Dying. Some Death bullshit. Must Die, Death Halls must of die. Torment, Soulstone yeah. Survivors. It's good. Uh, I think those are all of them that I've played so far. 
And now that things are dying down, obviously 1.6 Honkai Star is coming out. And I'm very excited because we're adding end game content again. So, so what is this thing about how uh, Honkai Star Rail is getting a five star? I'm so glad you asked, bro. I didn't want yeah. to know what to Wait, bring what? Up. So what basically, mean? okay, so they- Oh, you don't know any? No, I actually, I have, so before I was following all Honkai content, like we talked about it every week, right? Yeah. So ever since the WoW meta started, I have not logged on to Honkai. Man. Well, allow me to explain. I had a massive fucking update because Mary maybe was like, yo, add me on Honkai. Yeah. My chat said you play all the time. I was like, my brother, I haven't logged in in eight weeks. Well, first but, of all, uh, <laughs> let me to explain. Uh, you missed the worst patch of the game. I also miss rolling for that ghost girl. I wanted her so bad. She was so cute. I don't know if Ooh, she was good. Or she, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. yeah, I got she her. She is very cute, but She's not I, good. I skipped whoa, whoa. I skipped Argenti. Yeah. I have over 200 summon saves. Nice. That's huge for me. Uh, Ruan May's coming out. She will be the best character to date. Of course. Yep. How do you know that? Uh, because her kit was revealed on okay. the live stream. Uh, she this gives is you what I was saying about that one fucking character I didn't roll for. Uh, the... Fancy Don Hong. I told y'all, I was yeah. like, three months, there'll be a yeah. new best five star. I don't give Absolutely. a fuck. And I was fucking right. No, but you were right so much faster than you anticipated. Because the next patch, Jing Liu was released. And Jing Liu shits on Don Hong. No, I, did, I did roll for Jing Liu. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she does. No, I don't think she does. Okay, not at E6. Yeah, exactly. but it is zero. I mean, the it point is, is I, I didn't fucking need Don Hong. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But Ron May is, looks so good. She increases weakness, weakness break, so you can break the shields faster. When their shields broken, it lasts longer. And then when it comes back, it doesn't come back. And it speeds everybody up. And she increases all the damage, everybody. She's going to be insane. But one, the big thing of 1.6 is Honkai Star went to the Game Awards. They won mm -hmm. Mobile Game of the Year. That's right. Yeah, I, I watched me, that. Let me preface this. Genshin Impact won the same award twice, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, for their rewards, they won 800 Primo Gems. 800. Nice. How many spins is that? Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was say, not a lot. <laughs> yep. That sucks. Honkai Star Rail wins. They are giving every player who logs in from 1.6 to 2.1 the free five-star limited character Dr. Ratio. Dr. Ratio. And he it's actually is his name. so fucking good. And people are coping out of their mind because they're saying, oh, he's a free five star. He's going to be shit. I'll just say it. I've looked at the leaks. He's insane. I mean, even if he's not, that's that's nice of them. It's more so like Genshin. So basically, Hoyoverse, this is the people that make Genshin and Star Rail, yep. literally don't give a fuck about Genshin They players. don't. And they're just like, you know what? You don't get anything good. Mm -mm. And the best thing about it is that the Genshin players will just keep eating it up. It doesn't even matter. See, that, so don't, aren't they going to have like an anniversary or something like that? Like, Dude, aren't the Genshin I, I'm players? still fucking pissed that Honkai is so much better than Genshin because Genshin has the better character design. Like, it's so fucking sad that like Hu yeah. Tao and Ganyu and Raiden are all in fucking Genshin and not in Star Rail because I don't really like playing Genshin anymore. Why don't you like it? Uh, cause I, I played up until, uh, whatever is after Inazuma and then I kind of just Sumeru. like, I just kind of like, cause it was bad. I don't know. Yeah. It was just like when I first started playing Genshin, it was like, I was very drawn into the story and I usually don't play those kinds of games for the story. And I was like, yeah. it's such a beautiful world. It I is. can't wait to go check out this zone on the map that like I haven't seen yet. And then I just kind of was like, it's so, like you, you did know. everything. Was that it? You just get kind of. Yeah, like it kind of felt like I did everything, even though new content was coming out. Yep. I don't know how to explain it besides I that. I understand that. No, yeah. I, absolutely. Um, thank you for making me not feel fucking nuts, Asmund, because the community, it, it's like it's like it's like Hoover shits in their mouth, so, and they smile at them and they say, "Yes, please, more." It's it's it, well, dr so it drives I, me nuts. You, you have to understand this, right? It's yes. like so a lot of them on Twitter. It's like, this is the worst thing that's happened to them in their life. Oh, no. Right? It's, <laughs> the, like, this is this is the worst thing that's Dude, but possibly those, those happened. those are like kids, man. But, like, okay. And that's the thing. Yep. And so I'm thinking about it. And it's like, if you're 15, you know what? There's a good chance this actually could be one of the worst things that's ever yeah, happened to Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like 15-year-olds like that like yeah. Genshin's their hyper fixation. So like, they're upset about it. I mean, it's I, like, I don't think it's like that big that of a deal. Happened, they're just kids. Like, Did you, know, you see what happened this morning? No. Oh, dude. So I went off. I've made like four videos in the past two days. I watched your video about it. I saw that. Yeah. I saw the tail end of that. And uh, I was talking about like how Genshin's given up, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Like 
Hawkeye Star gets all this shit. So they announce a new character Ooh. for Genshin Impact. And I said, yeah, they're scraping the bottom of the barrel for designs. And then oh, he this, comes up. Is this gaming? They kind of, <laughs> dude. <laughs> so they, sorry. So this, see, this is what I, I'm so sad because Genshin's yep. first like 30 characters were all so fucking yep. beautiful. What the fuck is that? Well, the guy, you know what his name is? No. Gaming. Gaming? His name is Gaming. Not, not Gaming. It's literally. Dude, like, why, gaming. why couldn't like Venti and Amber and Eula be in Honkai Star Rail? It makes me so upset. I know. Well, they just I run out of- I, I love Genshin characters more than Honkai characters, but I can't play mm. Genshin. My, my top two are Kafka and Topaz. But then right after that is Eula, Raiden Shogun, Yaimiko. Oh my God. And then dude, uh, what's your name? Acheron. Have Acheron? you seen Acheron? No. Oh my God. So you know Raiden Shogun? Mm -hmm. She's in Honkai Star right now. Oh, her name's Her name's not, Acheron. Oh, her yeah, name's which not is a, a play on um, Archon. Oh. Because she's not Electric Archon, so now she's Acheron. Okay. Yeah. That Furina character looked kind of nice. She's awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. Furina's so, cool. Yeah. I was talking about like, like Coomer, like they're hot. Farina is like my number yeah, one, like so, personality wise. Yeah. So basically, mm -hmm. uh, why do you think that they Genshin hasn't gotten anything like this? Because they don't Fur need to. Furina is in Genshin, right? Yeah. She no, that, that's yeah. another thing that made me upset. Yeah. Is I, I was like, I saw the people. Like, oh, Farina is so amazing. The story is so good now, and I was like, oh, I, I might come back. That I remembered, I had to play through the other thirty hours of content to get to that new content, Ooh. and I was like. Imagine it thinking it it's only 30 hours. <laughs> That's the crazy part. You would you would start to do I could have gotten my wow alt up in that time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doing doing the Aranara quest, you would you would delete the game from your computer. Is like, that the one that's like the eight hour one? That uh, it's you were the 14 hour about? one. Yeah, yep. yeah. Oh, just non-voiced. You talk to little plants for 14 fucking hours. Well, like, what's the payoff at the end of oh, it? The payoff is actually pretty nice. Okay, you that's You know, it's good. cool. Yeah. But, like, it's still 14 hours for, look at all the happy little seed guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know, that's the way it goes. <laughs> Maybe 30 <laughs> minutes, but I'm not doing 14 fucking hours. And it's like, that's the big issue. Yeah. Is that people who play these games don't get the value of their fucking time. Yes, Nice moments of do happen. Of course, they don't against. have the value of exactly. their time. Yep. they're literally playing a pay-to-win game. Yep, like of course they don't have value for their time. They're fourteen. Yep, like there is no value for their time. There's nothing that they're gonna do that's gonna have a a payoff to it. It's like either play this or get on Modern Warfare. Yep. that's it. But it's like okay to these people, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll waste fourteen hours. Do this nice little moment. Bro, I have to work a job. Yeah. Okay. I, I I have to pay bills, man. Oh God, it's not like my dad. Damn, that's rough, bro. I'm old. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Tectone, and definitely no one else here to tell you about today's sponsor. The Arkham Asylum Files! Panic in Gotham City. This bad boy is an augmented reality adventure that allows you to embark on a mystery escapade that will blow your mind! The game utilizes impressive AR technology that makes this board game experience come to life! All you need is to download the free companion app on your mobile device and BOOM! Things get crazy. And in case you missed it, me, Extra Emily, and Seer, <laughs> we already gave it a go and it was quite the debacle. They have to be in the water, right? That would make sense to me. So, oh. you liar! Yeah. Just like we did, you'll work together to help bring order to Gotham, which is a city that demands justice. Speaking of justice. Where is he? Each Panic in Gotham City box comes with either a Joker or Batman mask. So y'all have to let fate decide. The game includes over 100 game elements and ties together seven story chapters as you work with your friends and family to solve mysteries. And even if you manage to crack the case, it's designed to be reset and replayed over and over again with instructions included. 
The Arkham Asylum Files Panic in Gotham City is a perfect adventure this holiday season, so make sure you pop down in the description and order yours today! I'm turning 30 this month. Ooh, really? Big, yeah, big mistake. 30. Wait, when, when's your birthday? 29th. 29th. And you know what? Jesus. I'm stoked. Really? Yeah, want me to tell you why? Why? Because I know my buddies are throwing me a party and they think I don't know and I'm really excited about oh, it. Oh, <laughs> but you do. Because I do know. Because yep. I do know. I'm very, <laughs> I've never had anybody throw me a party before. Okay. So I'm very excited because usually I just don't celebrate my birthday at all because I don't really like them. Yeah. I love celebrating the other people's birthdays, but mine, not a fan. Right. But I hope they take me bowling. I went bowling last night. It was fucking oh. awesome. <laughs> Regardless, uh, yeah, Genshin. Waste your time. There's nice little moments. That's all people remember. But uh, nah, I'm fucking good, man. Uh, th the way that Genshin and back should be enjoyed is you watch the cutscenes on YouTube and then you just skip everything else while you're actually playing it just to fucking get on with it. It's infuriating. I've been wanting to do the 4.2 story quest for so long because apparently there's a lot of Farina. Um but I just, there's so much other shit I have to do to get there. It's just so annoying, man. It's so annoying. Uh, but yeah. So that, why don't they care about their players? Oh, because they don't need to. Because okay. one, there's no competition. There never will be any competition. You don't because, think so? No, because there's, there's, nobody's going to make a game like Genshin. Okay. It's not even a game. It's yeah. just, look at the pretty world, walk around, collect seashells. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who's going to make that? Yeah. It's literally, it, the Genshin Impact's player base is a bunch of, sorry if you're not one of these, the Genshin Impact player base is made up of a lot of people who got addicted to it during COVID. Now they have fond memories of it and now they can't quit. So now they're stuck. They're stuck. Right. They will accept any shit that they get fed into their mouth. Right. And that's it. Mm -hmm. the, 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 free, the, the fucking theory crashers for Genshin Impact are cope as fuck yeah. because we don't need them because, sorry, because the game is so fucking easy you can do it. You don't with need a theory for how to do two plus two. No. And by the right. way, when you say that, it drives them fucking insane. Really? Yes. Like, okay. oh my God. It is just so fucking brain dead. Run a shielder, run a healer, kill them. Oh. So the game's basically made for really, really dumb kids. Yes. And yep. that's just the way it is. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's how it should be realistically. I mean, generally, wow. like, if they I, want to make money. I put extra yeah. Emily, I put extra Emily on my account. Uh -huh. For a sponsor. Yeah. And she could only beat the first three stages of Spiral Abyss, but she couldn't beat the last one. Uh -huh. I want to make this point. This is, a, this is a genuinely brand new minute one player could beat stage nine, 10, and 11 of Spiral Abyss. That goes up to 12. But because she couldn't beat 12, you see, Tech Down? Yeah, I told you the game was hard. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he also has a fucking six figure account. Yeah. Yeah. It's a high six figures too. Yep. But oh then she was goodness. using shit. She was using like characters with no gear on them. She was using like, characters. Oh, this one's pretty. Yep. That was okay. literally it. Yeah, I could see that. Yep. And they and they, they held it above my head. You see, it is hard. No, it's fucking not. Okay. I beat that game with my feet and I beat that game blindfolded. Uh, so stupid. Not on my account either. On free to play accounts. It right. is not that hard. I but don't know. I mean, like I, I've wanted to go and try it. And like what's really fucked up is that every single time that I hear about any of these like dramas and like schizo stuff that happens in the community, mm -hmm. it makes me want to play the game. Like now I'm excited. Now I'm like, oh, what's this really going on about? Because like yeah. in my mind, it's like if people are willing to have like a mental breakdown about this game, yeah. it's a good game. I still can't believe yep. you haven't tried it at all. I have not tried it at all. I've been promising it for over a year. Because like that was the reason why I played that Coffin of Andy and Laylee game. Is like I saw a bunch of schizos getting mad on Twitter, and I said, yep. "Oh, this is interesting." <laughs> That's why this I played it too. Be, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be good. I mean, the thing and is, it's the same thing with Genshin. You're yeah. already getting the best content out of the game. Yeah, because like that is the best content. I, I love Genshin. I still cover Genshin one because I will admit I do still enjoy the story. Now, once again, I don't think that Genshin's story is like better than any anime or. TV show, like it's not better than Breaking Bad, it's not better than Demon Slayer, like pretty much any mainstream anime is better than the story of Genshin Impact. It's really not that groundbreaking. I mean, it really can't be because they have to draw it out so long. Exactly, you know? yeah. exactly. Well, they also have to make it really simple because like the dumb kids, right? Yep. So, yeah. yeah, like if it's like WoW's story, it's like yeah. even the veterans are like, we don't fucking know well, what's the, happening. Yeah, the, the people that make the story don't yeah. know what's going on. But it's like, because the pacing is bad, but there are nice little moments and it does really make, I mean, I'll be real. If I didn't stream it, I wouldn't play it. Yeah. I'll never play that shit offline, but it does make so me. So what do you think about all the money that you spent on the game? Like, is it just like uh, it into thin air or what? No, I don't regret it at all. Really? Well, yeah, because I made no so much way. money off of spending that money. Oh, okay. Well then. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah. let's, just, let's just call it how it is. 
Okay, it's, it's an a, uncomfortable it's an truth. Investment. No, like I literally got, I blew up because I spent money on a gotcha game. Was that really what it was? Oh, like, absolutely. Holy shit. You know, I spend a thousand dollars on a video yeah. and then I got a video that had a million views. Right. Who the fuck wouldn't do that? That's smart. You know, and then I got known for being a fucking whale on all these gotcha games. Yeah. And now, you know, I got a career out of it. Do oh. you ever have whales that get mad at you that you don't whale anymore? Genuinely? Yeah. Zero. Really? They, dude, it's so much better fully play. It's unbelievable. I've never, like, I feel like every whale though, like knows that it's like a bad thing they just do it anyway. Oh yeah. And that's what I say. And that's what I said at the beginning of all my older, older videos. Cause I mean, I'll be real. I mean, we can call it uncomfortable. Like it, it was like buying a career. I bought a seven figure career for okay. six figures. There you it's go. It's a pretty fucking good deal. It's a good deal. Yeah. I'd you know, so. I mean, it's investing in the future. And then the thing is, it wasn't accidental. I was like, if I spend a lot of money, people are going to want to see this because that's mm -hmm. how the moment you've seen it, the moment you spend money on the game, viewer count up, 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 up. People love watching me spend money on the game. Absolutely. And like, it's, and the crazy thing about it is that, like, I, I actually like the fact that my community, you saw this whenever you watched me do the spends, whenever you, you yeah. delivered to McDonald's. Yep. They're so, they don't play these fucking games. So they don't even know about the 50 50 thing. So, like, they actually think there's a chance that I'm not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh man, you won. You got it. Yeah, you that's thought the you were going to get it. You don't have a lot of real weebs in your community, but when I do well, it. I do. What do you mean? He actually do does. You? I guess yeah. I guess maybe you do now, but yeah, when, when I've done it, like half my chat's like, lol, lost 50-50, but so like they know. Yeah. yeah. And then but then when I get it, there's still people like, holy shit, she got I it. I can't believe it. Oh my God, how I mean, did like, this happen? It makes me so happy when I watch you summon, you failed the 50-50 and yeah. then you get it and then they don't know. And easy clap. Easy clap. Hey, hey, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that shit kills me, man. I mean, to be fair, I am pretty lucky too. Like, oh, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm feeling good about no, it. Uh, I would uh, for for a lot of the banners, you were a hundred percent. Oh yeah, it was nuts. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Genshin players are just coping because they have formed a toxic positive environment to where if anybody speaks constructive criticism, if anybody constructively criticizes the game, they get shit on, doxxed, death threats, you know, threaten to bomb their fucking house, and now. The developers see that and they understand, oh, okay, well, we don't have to fucking do anything and the game will never get better. It'll never get fixed. It, there'll never be generosity. You know what? Yeah, I'm a, now that you put it that way, if I were a Genshin developer and I heard about that thing with the cats, I'd be like, you know what? I don't care about this community. I'm going to do my job and go home yep. and not yep. do anything extra. Yep. I'm never going to yeah. post a picture of my face on the internet. <laughs> yeah, yep. that too, that too. Yep. There's, just, there's, just, there's just no reason. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Holyverse has always had issues. Uh, I don't know. Do you know about the do you know about the bunny skins with um Honka and Big Third? No. Oh, this is really fun. So Dewey um was at a a, a, a a official meeting and they were announcing that Honka and Big Third was going to do their first like fan service skins. Yeah. Where they were putting all the girls in bunny outfits. Right. Uh, and then uh, someone tried to kill him. Okay. There was an attempt. There was an attempted assassination. Did they get him? Uh, I think they did. I actually never looked into that. Is he dead? The CEO is not dead. Okay, so they still do the bunny outfits though? No, they didn't do it. Oh. He was so scared they retracted it. Wow. Yes. That's crazy. Holy shit. Dude, what yep. is wrong with people? Like for Jesus, a lot. For I, real. That's crazy. I've never told you about that. Yeah, I had no idea about this. Wait, but they, wasn't there like a, a Yay Miko like bunny nurse one? But I guess that one's like not too provocative. Bunny nurse? Yeah. I don't know about that. No. I literally, what? I don't, think, I don't think that's canon. There is a skin like that though, isn't there? I in think the, game, the no. reason why there's so oh. much toxic positivity is that they're afraid of their game dying. Absolutely. Like, and, and like, I, somebody, that's all they talk about. Somebody said in my chat today, Yeah. I said the day that Genshin announces end of service will be the best day of my life. It's <laughs> <laughs> just so fucking stupid. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, that's, that's all they talk about is yeah. that your game's dead. Genshin's the best. This game lost viewers. They don't want, yeah, they don't want their game to. They don't want the them to just call it quits. But it's the thing is like it's like it's like almost like they only enjoy the game because it was really popular for a little bit during COVID. I think That's a lot exactly of people do it. feel that way about games. Like, like my it. game's the best. It's the, most popular. They do that with streamers. You know, that's, it's the that's same true. Thing. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's true. It's the exact same thing. People love doing that because like they just, they want to get that validation because when everybody else, and also you think about the people that need validation for what video game they play, dumb kids, 
really dumb kids. Yep. And so guess what? If a lot of people aren't playing their game, they will fucking quit the game. And like, I really think it happens. Like, if you, there's this one guy, I told you all about this guy in New World Directory, right? Maybe. What guy? So this dude, I call him out for embedding, right? Okay. I call the guy out for embedding and I get on a call with him on my stream and he's like, yeah, well, you got to do what you got to do. You play the game. That's just how it is. I said, all right, well, there it is. And then I watch him on the New World release. He had 8,000 viewers. I used the fucking add-on. They were legit viewers. Dang. He unironically faked it until he made it. Yep. He did. And so that's what happens. Like if people think that you're popular, then they'll watch you. And Absolutely. that's why everybody view bots. Or not everybody, but a lot of people view bot. Yep. That's what it is. I found the video of yeah. him, the attempt assassination, because I need I need you to see this now. Right. I need y'all both to see this. Wait, oh, so this like crazy. Act this actually happened where someone actually tried to kill him? Yes. Because of bunny suits. What did they heard. try? Or did they have a gun? Uh, I think it was a curved blade. Ooh. Real yeah. personal. Right. You know, like a fucking blade. So did the guys, like, was it because, Gu like... Momo, armed with a curved blade, tried to assassinate Liu Wei and Kai Haoyu. So I'll, I'll send you all this so you can see this on stream. Because it is fucking nuts. Like, people don't believe me. Like, this shit is fucking nuts. And uh -huh. you know what the crazy thing is? The crazy thing is, is what they do every fucking time. There was a video called... Um, the toxicity of the Genshin Impact community. I'm not sure if y'all have seen it. No. Um, you should watch it. Very good watch. What they'll do is, is when you talk about the game and you list about every single issue that has happened in this community, they'll point out one flaw in logic and say, well, you were slightly wrong about this one point. You said this means, happened in, in February, but it actually happened in March. Which so. means every <laughs> yeah, other uh, point is null and voided. <laughs> and yeah. it's just like, okay, all right. And it, it's just insane. Like, like, oh, the, the, I don't know. Maybe y'all think this is fine. I don't think it's fine. There was a uh, an event like two years ago where they were signing creators to exclusivity contracts to where they could only play Genshin Impact for two, two weeks. Yeah, and, you've told us about this. Yeah, and they yeah. had to be positive. You could not say anything negative. And if you did that, they would allow you to have drops on for the game. Uh -huh. They were paying creators zero fucking dollars for two weeks exclusivity and forced positivity. I think that's bullshit. I cannot believe that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, That's really bad. Yeah, I and, and people underplayed it. They said, oh, yeah, but they can do whatever they want. And then these dumb fuck creators accepted yeah. the, the agreement. You know, a lot of the bigger streamers, people know who I'm talking about. And I said, well, that's fucking terrible. Yeah. And then when the bigger creators accepted it, they were using that as leverage to get the other creators to accept because they said, well, this big guy accepted it. Well, I might as well do it. Yeah. yeah. Dude, imagine any other big game studio doing that. Like imagine if like Blizzard or Riot did if that. If Blizzard <laughs> did that, oh yep. shit. Yep. Hey, nobody turned, a, nobody batted an eye and they acted like I was the villain for saying, why the fuck would you sign that? When they're not realizing these, these, these uninformed, ignorant creators are harming every smaller creator because if a bigger creator does it, then they're, they are leveraged and borderline forced other creators to do it to get the same benefits that they were doing. And it, and it just really, really hurts the entire ecosystem of creators for that space. And I, I was furious for that. So for what weeks. do you think would happen if like another game comes out and it's like genuinely better than Genshin? Like, would people pretend like they always hated the game all along? I think that's yeah. what they would do. Yep. Because uh, I was thinking about this. Because like, eventually there's always going to be like a new game that comes out. And then people will be like, yeah, I actually never liked it. Oh, absolutely. And they have like, a, you know, 7,000 hours they'll, in the game. They'll switch up immediately. Yeah, just they, real they, quick. They switch up so quick. Okay. It is insane. But I mean, I don't know. Like, maybe I'll, I'll have to try it out sometime soon. I, I really, really want to. Now that the WoW meta is over... And I was doing a little bit of the hardcore stuff. I don't have anything to fucking do other than play random ass games. You, Same. It's kind of, isn't it kind of nice in a way it though? It is. It's great. Yeah, we were talking about this while you while you were busy yeah. filming your stuff. He was like, "So what are you gonna Just do say, now?" I was, I was like, late. "I don't know." I, I was late today. I don't, then, even, well, I don't, I don't okay. know if you're late or not. He was, oh, okay. he was only like five minutes late, but he had to film something bad. with yeah. Finn. We but were yeah, just uh, chilling. We don't if, care. If I actually turn on my computer and I see you streaming Genshin Impact. <laughs>
That would blow my mind. Oh my Dude, god! His eyes are going to be glued to the screen. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> just because, because, like, I can't wait for you to just sit there and be like, "So this is it, huh?" <laughs> it's so fucking boring, bro. I'm sorry. Dude, yeah, I feel like, like he's going to play the first like hour and be like, "Oh, this is interesting." Then yeah. he's going to be playing like the Monstat stuff. And he's going to be like, Man. "So when do I get to the new stuff?" And it's like. You're going to be here for 500 hours. hours. <laughs> yeah. 70 hours? Yeah, yeah. Do you not remember what I said about like 70 hours? And he was like, that's cute that you think that's all it yeah, is. It took, it took, and that's took, that's from the third, uh, not continent, third, well, kind of continent, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I it have took, to do it, that. It took Necker at 500 hours to get to current. Yeah, but he probably fucked around for a while. You think you'd, that's true. Yeah. You could just spend infinite money. Well, yeah, I mean, it's true. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't know if I would spend a, yeah, I would. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking about that. But like, yeah, so like I'm thinking about, I don't know what other games that I really want to play now. Because like there's yeah. been so many games that have come out recently and I've just kind of like, there's so many things to play now. It feels great, honestly. Like, yeah. Because usually for me, like I like after only playing WoW, anytime that there's more than one game to play, I'm happy. Yeah, are you yeah. doing GTA RP? Nope. <laughs> Good. Do you know? How, I'm not doing that either. I'm not kidding you. Do you know how many streamers have called me on Discord, like right. depressed? Because, you know, I try to check in with all my friends pretty frequently. Okay. And, and I've had probably well over 15 calls of people who are being like, dude, I don't want to go back to GTA RP. <laughs> but they're giving away 600,000 fucking subs. Like, I, I, am I going to throw away this fucking money? It's like, dude, I don't know. The new, mm. the, the new, the no pixel 4.0, which I don't. How do y'all feel about NoPixel? I've heard very bad things. Am I crazy or is that, is that just a me thing? I've heard a, a lot of drama. Yeah, but I, yeah. I mean, I've if never, I've any never drama, watched any. It wouldn't be fun. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. I've only heard negative things about NoPixel. I haven't got informed on it or anything. But uh, yeah, I feel like I don't think really anybody wants to RP right now, but 600,000 subs, that's $3 million. That's a that's a lot of money going on. I mean, around. a lot of people's streams are doing really well too. Like SFan and FanFan have been popping off. Yeah. But I mean, no. they're, bo they're both also really good at RP. Yeah, absolutely. So they're, they're talented at it. I mean, yeah, SFan, stream doing great, Seer doing great. Everybody is doing great. Oh yeah, Seer too, yeah. Yeah, but uh, you know, uh, I, I could probably do GTA RP as well. I've never played a GTA game because I, I love RPing as well. I'm not a role player, yeah. man. I'm just not into it. I like it. Like I can't role play as another person because like I never know whenever I'm going to go over the line. You know, I'll say yeah. something that's a bit too much. That's the problem. Like what? Um. Uh, you could role play one of your viewers. That would be worse. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, you just yeah. go sit on a bench with McConnell. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like I would do something or say something that would be problematic. I would. I would. When do you not though? Yeah, but like then it's like then I'm in character. No, but in character that like alleviates you of like 80% of the responsibility. But then I'm usually like, I don't know. Because like whenever I stream, like this is usually what happens. If it's like a online, I usually treat the other people I'm around like NPCs. Yeah. And like that's just how it is. And if I do that on GTA RP, it's like other streamers and it's like now I'm an asshole. I still don't see how that's a bad thing because it's like your, your character can just be an asshole. No, here, yeah. here's what's gonna happen. If it's entertaining, then it's entertaining. You will have the large streamer experience. What's going to happen is you're going to go to GTA. People like interact with you. and like, Oh yeah, yeah Soda was complaining about yeah. that so much. He was yep. like, I was just trying to run a burger shop and I'd People be RPing about someone it, yeah. playing this shit and then someone would drive a car through the window and someone yeah. else would run in the front door and start screaming. Yep. That's what they do. And, or, or you get policemen to arrest you and hold you hostage while they hijack your stream and RP about some dumb shit. Right. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, I love RP. I have a, yeah, I have a couple characters. Really uh, I like going as Cletus, which is a... Uh, Cletus is my... Uh, he's my country character. I generally just go in there and talk about fucking my sister for about 20 hours and then I get uh -huh. out of there. That's a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> but I think it's good having like little different characters and different journeys and just doing really fucked up shit. You know, I do like the, oh, it's my character, guys. You know, just saying the absolute most diabolic shit possible. I, I, I don't think that would work. I don't like. I, I would come up with something that would be bad, and it would just. I, I don't know. I, I feel like it would be very problematic. I would go to GTA RP, and I would, I would, uh, I would just eat children. Yeah, I would eat people's children. Right. Yep. And I'd be a cannibal, and then okay. I would eat their parents. 
Really? It'd be the coffin of Andy and Lele in the game. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> the baby know. eater. Yeah. <laughs> that would be okay. crazy. Just the most worst outlandish shit. You, you remember dead baby jokes? Yeah. Like the old, what's the difference between a, a thousand dead babies and a Porsche? I don't have a thousand dead babies in my garage. No, I would not have a Porsche in my garage. garage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dude, those yeah, are classics. I, I, yeah, I know all about them. Do you think those are, do you think those are like, like it depends, right? Yeah. So like making a bad joke, I think yeah. that it has to be like clever yeah. because like once you understand like what the, uh, like kind of like how the joke works, it's like not really as funny anymore True. because you can predict what they're going to be. Oh, absolutely. But like, I think that the better, the better jokes are the ones that are kind of a little bit more creative. Mm. Like with those, I never really thought so. Yeah. Like, uh, not so much, right? They were funny and when we were in third grade though. Well, yeah. And it also felt like it was That's like- the only time I ever heard them. Yeah. <laughs> it was like elementary, and like maybe middle school, but by middle yeah. school, it's like, Oh, ha ha, blender, dead baby, good one. Yeah, good, good, good funny. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. there were a lot of things like that that we would do, but like I I never really got into it because I felt like it was just like that was the edgy for the sake of being edgy, so mm. it wasn't as entertaining. Yeah. And like, I don't know. I just, I always worry that like I'll say something because like, didn't you say that you were surprised that I don't get in more trouble for the stuff that I say? Was that you or was that somebody else? Uh... I think I did say something like yeah, that. Yeah, probably, right? Yeah, because there's a lot of crazy shit and I kind of get surprised. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like the only people who I don't, or the people who I actually still get yeah. surprised, how are they not getting more shit is like a VR chat streamers. Right. You know, the shit they do in there is just I think everybody diabolical. knows, they just know it's for people Dude, that have I didn't know problems. how bad it was until- It's really bad. Uh, I think kind of recently, like- I, I knew that there was like a lot of like weird shit going on in there, but it's like, yeah, I'm sure that there is. But I've heard a lot of bad stories now about like, I don't even want to like say. I, I, I know, heard. right? It's weird, it's right? Gross. Yeah, no, it's like, creepy. I, mean, I feel like creepy. Exactly. Yeah. Like there's so much horrible shit about VR chat, the content inside the game, outside the game, the things that people don't tell you that a lot of these people- I, I mean, it, it makes sense because I'm sure there's a lot of people that play VR chat just because it's like fun. It's like a creative game. You know, you get to, it's social too, but I'm also not surprised it attracts a lot of uh, deviants who can't do certain things in real life yeah. that they can do in VR chat. The other really weird thing is that a lot like, of freaks. Yeah, yeah. Other, <laughs> a lot of freaks. The, the other really weird thing is that like if anybody says anything weird about VR chat, yeah. then these people go to their streamers and they say, "Hey, Tectone was shit talking you specifically," and I'm like, "Well, how are we supposed to call out any behavior?" Yeah, and, uh, it's, I'm not. You yeah, know, I, I feel bad for any like normal VR streamers. I'm sure they're just constantly uh, like, well, "What do I do implies, about this problem?" No, person? That implies that there are normal VR streamers. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh. There are no normal VR streamers. No. Okay, guys, there there is no way to stream VR chat for ten hours a day, yeah. for years, and be a normal human being. Okay. There's no way. Okay, that, no, that clarify, clarifies. 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 clarifies yeah. <laughs> that clarifies some more for me. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's it's very 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 hard, and uh, I just I just don't know how it's still a thing. I, I was really hoping that because the other thing is, the the majority of and I'm, I'm pretty sure people would agree with this. The majority of VR chat streamers are very talented. They're very funny. They're they're very uh, very good at um, improv. I feel like they would just be better playing other fucking games. But like, god damn, bro, it, it is. It's just diabolical coomer bait for fucking 24 hours and pushing the limit, pushing the limit. I remember this, you know, you know what a mute is in VR chat? I, of yeah, course I, did, I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this one dude wanted to wanted to a mute so bad that he sent a video of himself dipping his balls into soy sauce and jizzing on a bagel to get a mute in VR chat. Not in game, out of game. Like that's weird as shit. Did he get it? I don't even think he got it. Maybe he did. I mean, because that's not really that big of a deal. I think that's weird. I mean, yeah, it's weird, but like, yeah, it's really it's, not it's that weird. I mean, it's but like, it doesn't. It's like you just do that. You take a shower, right? Or like, we're not. <laughs> no, but like, but like, yeah. Okay, let me ask you a question. Same deal. Okay, and now you, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm RPing as Asmin, right? Oh, so you want to get in Roach out, huh? Yeah. Send me a video of you jerking off on a bagel, Asmin. Do you really think that people wouldn't do that? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, yeah. even asking for that is crazy. Well, no, it's not. Because you have to know that you're dealing with a real loser, right? <laughs> okay. Because like you you think about it and it's like kind of, it's like you're, if, 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 
if putting your ball sack in soy sauce is too much for you, yeah. you're not ready for what this is going to take. No, I'm just saying, like, like in VR chat, yeah. people are like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, sure. But in any other, you got to admit, for any other scenario, it's so fucking weird. I, I can't normalize it. It's just, no, it, I, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. I mean, what do you think? I think he's being contrary to be contrary. I think you you're think right. So? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, because you make it, I'm feeling insane right well, now. I, I mean, like, yeah, it's a little weird. Sure, it's a little weird. <laughs> thank but you. Like, it, 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 but yeah, but it's not that big of a deal. You can literally just take a shower afterwards. It's like he didn't need to get his face in there. How is anybody supposed to know it's him? No, no, for sure. I'm just saying that like- But how are you going to- find someone else to do that in your place. Well, what do you mean? Like, it's like, oh, well, how do they know it's you? Who the fuck else would it be? Well, no, I mean, like, because it, it's, no, I mean, because I'd want, I'd need to know details about this and, and like, you know, I'd probably get us demonetized. <laughs> but like, the truth is- It's that, up the end of the video, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, I mean, is it a video of him actually jerking off onto it or is it a picture of afterwards? Is it the period of time? What do you want I, it to be? Like, I don't know. Well, well, the thing is, it depends, right? Because you can just put some other shit on a bagel and then be like, yeah, I just did it. There yeah. it is. And so I don't think it's that big of a deal. But now they call him Bagel Boy. Really? Is that not crazy? Well, like, yeah, that's a good thing though, right? Because like now everybody knows who he is. That's right. Yeah, exactly. And I, it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit weird that, you know, he did that. But I mean, fuck. A lot of people do weird stuff. That's true. Yeah. So what were you having people do to join Roach Out? Anything that I can get them to do. Like, uh, <laughs> what the fuck does like that anything mean? Anything that we get them to do. Like, um, yeah. I would, well, like, one time we had somebody kill their own character. Yeah. And then we invited their second character, and we mm. did that to entertain the guild for a little bit of fun. And, uh, hey, but that's in game. That's not that bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, if we asked somebody to do something crazy, like I'd kind of look really bad if I said what it was, right? I mean, Jesus, <laughs> yeah. About, yeah, we asked a guy to carve Roach out on his forehead with a, <laughs> with a fucking straight <laughs> razor. <laughs> yeah, to carve the name of the kill. And then we invite him and we make him an officer. Uh, yeah, I uh, probably wouldn't really say that yeah. even if we did it. Oh, uh, God. But uh, we didn't do that, by also, the way. Uh, the episode's probably Haven't ending soon. So a couple of things I want to just <sighs> talk about. Kung Fu Panda 4 is coming out. Oh, Dope. thank God. Yep. Good ass movie. I'm waiting for that. They're also doing a remake of One Piece. Oh, yeah. I heard They're about remaking that. Yeah. the One Piece I'm gonna, anime. I'm going to watch thank it. Thank God, bro, because yep. I, I kept being like, I'm going to watch One Piece, episodes. and I'm like, eh, never mind. You know yeah. I've been saying we needed a One Piece Kai for years. We're like, oh, no, it ruins the integrity of the show. No, dude. This is going to be so fucking sick. It's the equivalent of like buying a level 60 boost for WoW veterans. <laughs> yep, I know. <laughs> These people take it way too seriously. But I, it was actually met with very good like response. And thank God, because One Piece is really good. And it's, it's okay, it's, it's, it's good. But it's going to be even better when you skip all of the bullshit that they added into the anime, like the the very long reacts because it was a show in the anime, which means they need an episode every single week and they have to stretch it to 21 minutes no matter what. And so there's a lot of filler that doesn't need to be there. So 100 episodes of One Piece is now probably going to be like 20 and it's going to be so fucking good. I actually can't wait. But that also, in my opinion, does signal that the end of One Piece is coming soon and... Uh, I'm stoked for it. That's going to be the Wait, end of an era. The main anime is still running, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I but think. the thing is, it's like, we're like there. You know, like, like we're getting there. Like all of the long-term storytelling is being wrapped up right now. There's only a couple more things that Luffy and the crew have to deal with and then the eventual become king of the pirates and then done. Imagine they somehow sync to where they end at the same time. That would be sick. <laughs> because the other one the show takes in the so same long. Place. Yeah. yeah, like it's like the speed is like, <laughs> yeah. they yeah. end at the same fucking time. It, that would be crazy. <laughs> it is so cool though, because my favorite, the, the reason why I started One Piece um, was because of the current storyline mm -hmm. that they are wrapping up right now. And it's so cool. Not to mention, Gear Five is just about the coolest shit ever. I love it. What's the pod? What's the what's the the podcast comments? We yeah, podcast that. comments. Um, Apple Podcasts, five star from Spart one nine eight one. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I started listening last month and I'm finally caught up. I discovered your show after watching Asmongold's house tour. Oh, good. And I'm currently making my way through Patreon bonus episodes. 
I'm going to be super sad when I finish those. I'd have to wait for new episodes. Aww. I'm so sorry for you. We ruined his life. Yeah. That's crazy. We have binge watchers. That makes me happy. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool because then eventually whenever I do another subathon, I can just use our episodes as what I'm going to sleep to. That's content. <laughs> I like yeah, that. That's free. Because you have 41 episodes. Each one's about an hour. That means I get at least five nights. They're like an hour and a half. That's true. Yeah. Some even two hours. Yeah. Uh, we have some YouTube comments, which is, as a doctor, I'm absolutely transfixed by every take Asmund has I've ever had on nutrition and health. It's like a car crash I can't look away from. <laughs> I saw a lot of comments about the, that, like, calorie conversation. Whatever health advice You know Asmund what? Half <laughs> the people calling me that calorie conversation saying I was wrong, I bet they're fat. <laughs> I bet money on that shit too. That's right. Whatever health advice Asmund gives you, do the opposite. I what the fuck? <laughs> so these are the comments. Uh, I'm spending a lot of time alone lately, and these podcasts are seriously hitting hard for me. Been less been listening to one every night while I'm gaming. Love you guys. Shout out to the new Genshin Impact character. Dude, that sounds chill. That does. Sounds good. I it's actually making me really happy. My my whole friend group watches the Steak and X podcast now. Wow. Aww. It makes me really happy. Well, supportive friends. Yeah, they're great. What do they say? They say it sucks? No, they actually say it's fucking awesome. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, and they, well, there was one episode they really didn't like. <laughs> and then my dad was really mad about one too. Which episode? Oh, was it the one you weren't there? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah. Well, all right, guys. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate it. And um, shit, I, mean, I think that's about it until the new year. Uh, we have a Christmas special coming out, but oh. I mean, this is the last time we're going to be in the studio until yeah, yeah. 2024. Oh, so boy. Merry Christmas, guys. Thanks yeah. for watching us this year. We started in January, right? So I have no, no idea. No, I think it might have been February. Well, if we did 40, 40 episodes... Oh, God. I think we started in January, because we announced in, I think, January at the shareholders meeting. I actually wanted to. Wait, that, that was the end of January, so I think we started in February or maybe even March. I went to January fucking... I think shareholders was like the 31st. Oh, yeah. I forgot that happened. I mean, I think we yeah. can all agree. I don't think any of us expected this to go on this long. Yeah, yep. that's true. It's our longest running podcast. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, sure is. <laughs> yeah, it started February 17th. February, oh, February. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, wow. February. So that's like, yeah, we're only two months away. Almost a year of that's, steak that's and eggs. That's kind of scary. Yeah, that is really scary. What the fuck? Because it feels like we just started. Should we do something special for our one year? Just be like, yeah, whatever. Who cares? I, I, I would like to do something cool. Yeah, we could do something special. Maybe, we, you yeah. know, we were talking about doing the live episode thing. Oh, yeah, we live could do a live episode. Yeah. yeah. yeah Maybe we could do that. Yeah, that we can do fun. a live Q&A or something. Because it actually is the thing. I, I, think, I think people will be surprised by... Well, if we do a Q&A episode, it's one thing. But, like, there's, like, there's like very little downtime between anything. There's barely any cuts. You know? It's just kind of just, like... Well, you mean our podcast? Yeah, like, right oh, now... We, like, we almost never have cuts. Yeah, it's just, like, doof, 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 doof the yeah. whole time. It's yeah. really nice. It's really good. Yeah, we almost never, we only ever cut like if one of us says something really stupid, which is only, that's only happened. That's like, only, when I it's only happened like three or four times. Because <laughs> they have to use a bathroom or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Well, damn. There it is. So, yeah, guys, uh, give us your thoughts, what you want to see for the uh, one year anniversary. And uh, shit. shit. Well, we'll see you in the next one, yeah. boys. All right. Peace. See ya. Then you turn and you look at me. There's a little. When do you think that the internet became like a place that normal people went to? A place that normal... Yeah. I, I feel like probably because of Facebook or Twitter or maybe even YouTube. Just like some big social media that everyone was using. But now I, face, no one really uses Facebook anymore except for older families, old, I guess. People, yeah. Yeah. I think where, where things really went wrong was Harambe. I think that like that was the turning point where... Where the memes internet, became me where mainstream. memes became real, right? Yeah, and like that's whenever normal people. That was the first meme that like 
I remember they had like Christmas ornaments of Harambe. And I was like, this is just like, I felt like this is my, is this what cultural appropriation feels like? You know, like what the fuck is this? And I was just so upset. And after that, every meme, almost every meme has been fucking That's garbage. true. Cause like, I feel after Harambe was like Ugandan knuckles and that was like- Oh, that was fucking That stupid. was weird oh, that because- was so I, bef- Yeah, before that, I feel like every meme that was just like stupid for the sake of being stupid, it was like, oh, ha, ha. Then it like faded away. People would bring yeah. it up sometimes. But I feel like that was one of the first ones where it was like- It's stupid. Okay, what is going on, guys? This is- Yeah. It's stupid and we're serious about how stupid it is. Yeah. yeah. I remember I was at Target and there was this lady there- and she had like like a five year old and a three year old, oh and they were saying, "Do you know the way to each other?" Like back and forth, and like she was thinking, like she was thinking, oh, bro, "I should have got a fucking abortion." <laughs> oh my god, now bro! She all was the so kids upset. are like, "Oh, ha, ha, Fortnite battle pass." Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Skibbity toilet. Well, I wonder. I don't even know what that is. Still. Oh yeah, I've heard about that one. I don't yeah, even that, know what that, that is. one's for like stupid kids. 